I love you guys. Oh I my God. <laughs> I watched, I got screened. So I obviously watched season one and then went to the dinner. Chelsea, you were, the, I definitely talked to you a lot. Oh, we definitely chatted. Yes. yes. We were <laughs> diagonal. I think you were beside Diesel. Yes. The whole entire time. And then Katie, I think you were at the other table. So we probably like mingled, but you know how the two tables were. Yeah. They literally had me at like the end of the, like the head of it was so awkward yep. <laughs> oh, yeah you were at the head of our table oh okay, you were down there then yeah yeah I totally <laughs> forgot about that god <laughs> what a crazy not, crazy time you're not in LA now you're just uh taking in season two from your houses does this look does this look like LA it could be exactly <laughs> terrible does this beautiful bear tree look like LA <laughs> <laughs> yes I'm back home I'm gonna do a premiere with the fam jam so I feel like That'll be nice, you know? Yeah. No sun, but. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs it? We're going to be inside watching Netflix. Anyway. But lots of love. <laughs> <laughs> and then, kid, we saw Percy Hines White. So he's huge for Young Hollywood. We interviewed him in person. He did a little post for you. Did you see it yet? Uh, did he? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll you have to check Instagram after because it was the sweetest little, like, caption that he put. But you uh, loved him and they loved Jenny and Georgia. So I was like, oh, both worlds are colliding. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. Okay, how do you guys feel now that it's season two is officially out? Because it's long awaited by all of your fans. I like fully got confused for a sec because I didn't realize, like I knew it was coming out today, but I like didn't mentally prepare. So then as today was coming, I was like, <laughs> oh, so it's going to come out like tomorrow. And then everybody was like, no, no, Chelsea, it's already out. Like it's done now. And I was yeah. like, oh, it's so funny. Oh, they dropped it at like night and you wouldn't expect that people would start watching them but they do it's like it's so sweet and overwhelming I think um it's more exciting this time around because we know how many people are watching and how many people love it and it's just I'm just so happy that they've been anticipating it yeah that's so crazy now people were definitely very ready and we had been posting like stuff about it kind of leading up and everyone's like can they just you tell them to drop it we're like yeah we're talking to Netflix right now like, we're done <laughs> <laughs> Um, how do you guys feel about your each of your character growth from season one to season two? Katie, do you want to go first? Yeah, I mean, I um, I was, uh, it was really lovely to receive um so much feedback from people who uh felt like they were represented by my character. Um, I just feel like she's a very very like flawed character and um those are my favorite characters personally like I just feel like everyone can relate to that type of um character so I, I and I know she was going through a really tough time where we where the last season left off um as you know when you're in high school it never ends right so I think uh, I was really looking forward um to see Abby kind of find something special about herself and and maybe like carry herself with a little bit of um with a little bit of uh, confidence almost or at least like a good sense of humor because I, I just um I, I just felt like it was important for whoever needed to see that um yeah. to see that so uh you know she copes with her problems this season in some in some very uh interesting ways destructive ways uh positive ways um and she's still a friggin' mess so uh I just I hope that it stays true to like what the character is <laughs> Um, I think for for Nora, leaving where we left off with her kind of trying to make peace and then still getting yelled at is something that she's kind of taking more and more to heart. And so I think season two is a lot of her tr still trying to be there for her friends, but then also learning how to not let them walk all over her. Because I think in her love for her friends, she lets people kind of take take some punches that shouldn't be taken. So I think season two is a really good <clears throat> growing opportunity for her too, because it kind of lets her put her own two feet down and kind of establish herself in the friend group more as her own person and less as like, I'm here so that we can all be together, which I think is very important for her. For sure. And for each of like, there's so many comments that everyone is always putting that no matter who you are watching the show, you relate to at least one of the characters because there's so many different storylines for each character if you guys were watching as fans and not the actual characters in the show who do you think that you would relate to the most for me it's austin it's uh jenny's little brother who's played by diesel who like i gotta say absolutely killed it this season like that kid blows me away 
Like, oh yeah, no. <laughs> <he's amazing. laughs> um, I think for me, it would probably be young Georgia because A, I just love Nikki and B, <laughs> I think she does like such a great job of, not to say that my life was anything like Georgia's, <laughs> but I just think she does such a great job in like articulating uh, young naivety with, you know, the hardships of real life and like real struggle. And so I think being able to have both of those in one person is so amazing to see because you truly believe that she is so young going through all of these things. And I think that that's just something that I just really like resonate with because, you know, like no matter what age you are, like everybody goes through stuff, right? Like it doesn't just start when you turn 18. And so I think it was really cool to see someone who's representing someone as like 15 do like the storylines and have the kind of conflicts that she does because you really feel that like a child is going through this. Yeah, no, a lot of it's so relatable. Sometimes you're just like, whoa, like they, like you guys are all good at all your parts. So, and did you guys do regular high school or did you guys not do regular high school? No, I did regular. I mean, as regular as an arts high school guys. <laughs> okay, so you guys did like the, yeah, like arts high school. What would you say is similar to your high school experience as your character's high school experience, or is it completely the opposite? Um, man, I, I gotta say, I feel like the writers did like a weirdly good job of representing what it is like to be a modern day teenager. I wouldn't say it's, I mine was at all that similar, but I think it's, it's, um, like pretty accurate to, to a lot of things. Yeah, for sure. I definitely, I think the whole, like the way that we interact in the high school, I love because I genuinely just took that from like what my high school was like yeah. so all of the like pushing and like the like yelling and screaming like that was all just like what I was like in high school so I think it's really <laughs> fun to I mean <laughs> what you can't see that for me no I so you are with me <laughs> cool so nothing has actually changed <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah I think I think the like weird bullying that happens and not that I condone bullying, but I think the friend, like, making fun of each other is just so quintessential high school that, like, it's just so nice to see it done in a way that feels still wholesome. Yeah, yeah. and it's a good, accurate representation of, like, female friendships as well. Yes. Which is what I think about our night. Totally. And, okay, no so... One obviously, this is, like, focused on season two, but in season one, because we didn't interview each of you... Um, in so many comments, so all the TikToks that have been posted recently, like in the last like three days leading up to season two, so many people, any TikTok of Hunter was <laughs> about how, you know how the Snapchat he sent in season one, like how it was like a video Snapchat, people were literally <laughs> chewing him out for that. Do you guys think that you would, like, I guess when Snapchat first came out, do you think you'd ever send a Snapchat like that? Like a video, full on video, <laughs> like saying that? <laughs> I, I mean, probably sent worse. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Like, <I> mean, <laughs> if you could give people all like the option of all of those filters, like something horrific is going to come out of it. And like the thing about that scene is like it did exactly what it was written to do. Like it was yeah. all it, it's supposed to feel that way. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know. I think back. To, I just love that it was that filter because that's like. That was the filter we all use. <laughs> yeah. Like they really just went for it. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely would have sent something like that. I definitely have sent stuff like that. <laughs> or the ones with like the weird beard, like and like it twinkles your like cheeks. I yeah. Yeah. I feel like anyone who sends something like that is doing it ironically though. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, do you think at any way Jenny and George gives any euphoria vibes? we definitely don't dress the same no less is true <laughs> um, would you do a show crossover with euphoria do you think that'd be fun oh that'd be what? so much fun could you imagine the tiktoks that came out of that oh. because you guys you imagine <laughs> oh my god i would die i think i think the nice thing about like jenny and georgia that i love personally is that there's always something like just utterly dumb that happens in every episode to kind of be like a refresher. And I feel like in Euphoria that happens, but like not to the same degree. Mm, so I feel like, I feel like if they crossed over, we'd have to make it in like a dream world. Yeah. 
show would be <laughs> one of the other, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see any comments so far that like have you been on a line online a lot since it's come out of the midnight? I mean um, this morning a little bit, yeah. I, yeah. Social media. I also haven't done too much. I get like very overwhelmed, so I wait like a solid amount of time and then I like just binge all of the like posts, comments, posting, and then I like give myself another break because if not, I'm just gonna dive into all of the like deep like right holes and then yeah. <laughs> And then my day is done. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a main group chat in real life? Do you have the four of you in a group chat? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Heck yeah, we do. Did you like know each other at all before you started filming? Chill, so I, I until the audition. Yeah. Like I had known Sarah from we had worked on a show in high school together. We worked on Degrassi together. And then the three of us went to go do a chem read together, which was the funniest day. Cause we went, we had decided to meet up beforehand at like a cafe to run through the scenes and like run through the audition. And then we were super early. So we just like sat outside to kind of like chit chat about it and like enjoy the sun. Cause I think it was summer. <laughs> and then we walk into the audition room and Katie is just like red. And I was, like what happened and she's like I got burned from the sun from sitting outside you were so, right. we went into the bathroom and Chelsea was like putting wet cloths on my arm yeah. and well, we had just met I know <laughs> you had my you. it was it was really sweet but no I actually I hadn't uh, I've known of you before then but I hadn't actually met you which is very, uh, I think all actors kind of like. Yeah. Everybody. I know, I was pretending to be shocked, but I'm pretty sure I like looked you up before we went yeah. as well. And then I was like, how did our paths never cross? I think I that know. was my other thing. I was like, this makes no sense. Wow, it was a time. <laughs> That's how it always goes. I feel like, cause like in, like there's so many different worlds, like acting world and stuff. It's like, you really like, or you follow someone for years and you're like, I've been following you on Instagram and I've never met you. Like that's yeah. Like, fun like it's kind of like that kind of vibe. oh yeah. I've literally walked up to people in the street and been like oh my god how are you and they're like hey what's up and then I realized that it's just because I follow them and I've never actually spoken to them or met them in real life yeah I yeah. do that all the time or, or I like I assume that I know someone and I talk about people as though I know them and then it turns out even if we have met once they don't remember me or they don't know who I am and they claim they don't know me and I'm just yeah like, cool I mean, that was fun yeah. <laughs> Okay, so if you were watching as a fan, we obviously have, there's so many different like love triangles in the show, but if you were watching as a fan, would you want Ginny with Marcus? Would you want Ginny with Hunter realistically? Even though obviously like season two is a little bit different, like Charlie with Hunter. <clears throat> oh man. That's so hard. That's, that's so hard that's because like you would want to say Ginny and Hunter because you're like, that's the one that makes like emotional healthy sense. But then... They're only in high school. So I say Jenny and Marcus because the, why not? Connected, right? Yeah. Yeah. I might have to uh, I might have to agree with you. I love them together. I would ship them. They're my favorite. We like the chaos. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the right team. <laughs> and okay so one of like in the season two trailer there's like you can't choose who you love. In real life, do you think that applies? Like, do you guys believe in that? Like, you can't choose who you love in your real lives? Um, That's a good question. That is uh, a great question. You're I, coming I, in hot with these really good questions. <laughs> I've researched so much of what people want to know. <laughs> I think you're in control of your own life and you're in control of your actions. Um, unfortunately, though, I don't think that you can control who you love. And I think that just comes along with, like, a lot of pain. But that being said, um, I, I think you can definitely know right from wrong and like choose your path. That's a good one. Yeah, I think you can, I think you gravitate towards the people you gravitate to, but I definitely do think that there has to be some choice in that. And I think like tortured, like unrequited love is so bad. I don't know if I can swear, <laughs> but- I do think that it's also, you know, like up to you to choose to love yourself more. So <laughs> I think it's hard. It's a hard one, you know, because it's like yeah. if you want to love someone as much as you do love them, then you'll love them more than if you just love them. 
but if you don't want to love them then you won't you know what I mean yeah I don't know. complicated love is complicated yeah okay we're gonna play a game so who would what so this is gonna be Ginny, Max, Abby, or Nora. So not you guys. Well, your personal, like real life opinion on which girl you think would do the list of scenarios. Okay. Right. Make sense? Okay. Yes. yes. So who would you let date your sibling? Ginny, Max, Abby, or Nora? Totally would let Nora date my sibling. I let Ginny date my sibling. Yeah, I'd let, I'd let Nora date my sibling, I think, before any of them. Yeah. Nora, Nora wins that one. I've got to shit together. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who would get the most matches on a dating app, assuming everyone was single? Nora. <laughs> I would say Abby. Abby, I feel like all of them would get a lot. You guys are hot. I feel so. like they would all do them together. And then like, it would just be like this massive photo shoot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. yeah, we come as a one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then you actually, one of the options is you just get to date all four at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm racking my brain because I, like, if I'm not mistaken, like you have to put like a bio or whatever, right? I'm just wondering yeah. what person's bio would be. I know. I was thinking the same <laughs> thing. And like, what kind of, like, what, would each person like prioritize on their on the yeah. dating app? Like I feel like Nora would be like, I want to look the most like myself, and then yeah. I feel like Max would be like, absolutely not. Like let's glow Max me would up. Shock factor. <laughs> yes, literally shock factor. Jenny would be like an obscure book would be one of her photos to be like <laughs> <I'm> different. Yeah. <laughs> and Abby would just be like, you do, you don't. You do, <laughs> you do. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But you can't if you want. No, uh, it. it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no you guys should do that you should like just for like fun on social media like make a tiktok out of it and just be like this is what my bio would be for abby this is what it would be for nora <laughs> that'd be a great <laughs> idea oh my god you should do our tiktoks with us <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll just be your manager your tiktok manager i'll tell you Perfect. <laughs> i'll send you my email at the end <laughs> <laughs> okay who out of the girls would be best friends with georgia if they were like older I feel like Abby, Abby and Georgia make sense to me. You think so? Max and, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like Max and Georgia kind of like do have a, like a yeah. friendship as well, like a chemistry oh, right. based sure. in like just being a little bit larger than life yeah. character. Um, yeah, I don't think Nora could. I think that would stress her out way too much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would work. Yeah. I yeah. mean, like, I think if you guys, you, I think it would be one of those, like, if Abby and Georgia were friends, it'd be like a, you guys see each other at the cafe once a week and you just kind of do like a nod. It's one of those friendships, you know? Yeah. Friendships without having to put the work in. <laughs> Love those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Who out of the friends would go to Harvard? I think Jenny would go to Harvard. Yeah. I think Jenny got the brains or the means. Yeah. At True. Um, who would be famous on social media? So say one of you blew up on TikTok, who would it be? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go ahead and say Max. Yeah, Max 100 percent <laughs> When I wrote it, I was like definitely Max. And plus in like the opening scene of season two, she's like making a TikTok. I was like, yeah, she's oh, like, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. who would out of the four girls keep talking to an ex? Max. <laughs> I think that I yeah I think that's Maxine <laughs> and George or Jean, Jenny and Jenny maybe yeah I mean I don't think we've even seen like I couldn't even imagine it because you're in a relationship and we haven't seen you heartbroken I know what that would look like. Lucky you. Lucky you. I also wonder what that would look like yeah I don't know if she would though I feel like she'd be like She's got self-respect <laughs> not that the intel is like yeah i think she'd be able to must like, be nice <laughs> what a no she was herself <laughs> um, or she'd be like, oh, yeah. there you go um who would be obsessed with olivia rodrigo i feel like i am obsessed with olivia rodrigo so. <laughs> i'm just gonna say me um 
I feel like, okay, this is me just fully projecting, Katie, but I'm going to say that Abby secretly listens to Olivia Rodrigo while she's taking a shower and only in the bathroom and no one knows. And then you actively hate on her in real life. Dude, yeah, right? But it's out of, it's like this painful kind of girl crush, the deep-seated crush. For sure. And then at the end, at the end of the album where she sings the song, Hope You're Okay, you're like, God, that's so nice. (laughs) Should we, like, like, next season? Should we uh, like pitch that one? I definitely, I will write it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> um, okay, and last two. Who most likely out of the four girls would, back to the Euphoria vibe question, go to Euphoria High? So which girl would fit right in, you think, at Euphoria High School? Jenny. She's broody like that, isn't she? Yeah. 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 Let's put Ginny in for you. Hi. Yeah. Transfer student. There you go. That's how you get your crossover. Yeah. You transfer. That's how you get your crossover. That's the way that it makes the most sense. Do you guys all go to college together? It's like a whole new Wait, world. Whoa. You could like all go oh to my God, yeah. together in a whole new world. You just collide in go. college. Harvard. Oh, Harvard. I mean, that's a nice thought. I feel like. I feel like as the teenagers that they currently are in the series, they would they would want that and they'd strive for that. But I think that would be like a learning curve that they'd go on if they get there and realize that like there's more to life than high school. And, and yeah, there you go. That's two seasons right there. Easy yeah. done. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from the writer said. Um, okay, <laughs> last one. Who is most like that of four girls? I guess this is your personal and the girls who would be friends with their real life self. I um oh shit. I don't know. I don't think I but do you want to be friends with Abby? In a lot of ways, yes. In a lot of ways, like she's got like she's she's got a lot of qualities that like are very unlikable and I find that um yeah, I need I need I need that in friend. No. <laughs> um no, she's very relatable like that that um at first I didn't think I was like her or that I liked her, but um like the more you get to know her, I think she's actually very, very, uh, um, she's very personable, and very entertaining and human. Yeah. So maybe, yeah. Like an onion. I just talked myself into it. <laughs> you <laughs> win. <laughs> yes. It's, it's Abby and Katie. Yeah. Love it. I would <laughs> definitely be friends with my character. I feel like a lot of Nora is just who I am yeah <laughs> and a lot of the things that I got to put into Nora that weren't written was because I was like well now Nora is going to be like this <laughs> so I think we're actually like fairly similar except for the fact that I definitely have more of a backbone than her Nora does not have a backbone so that's yeah. my biggest wish for that girl um yeah I would say that we're fairly similar yeah yeah so I'd be friends with her you choose yourselves that would work mm-hmm. you guys would be okay with i that. choose me okay i choose me yeah. <laughs> well you guys killed the game and you guys are actually so nice and you guys are the best people in netflix shows are always the best so netflix picks some good <laughs> oh well thank you thank you for having us that was such a fun game i was not expecting to play a game i love it oh thank you <laughs> created it myself <laughs> i was gonna say that's a lot of work if you guys are in LA, come by, come by the studio and play a fun game and hang out in person. 100%. Oh, we'd have to, yeah. Well, congratulations on season two and thank you guys so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay.